Take the cap off. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's enough to put the lens cap on. Uh, <laughs> um, I don't, oh, I'm confused. The camera is going the wrong direction. Is it? Yeah, I, I think yeah, we've been having some I technical problems now. Yeah. <laughs> We're getting a bit tired. <laughs> lens cap on. Camera I blame the wrong direction. <laughs> I believe I can fly. Adelante, amiga, adelante, por favor. <laughs> We're in the same neighborhood, but this street is called Versalles, and um, it's also another corner, so we'll see. image just captured my imagination. Yeah, I think it's She's actually a fashion designer and uh, this is documentation, performance documentation with her fashion. So it's it's photographed? Yes. It's nice. It's a beautiful photograph. It looks, yeah. uh, it looks like a like a watercolor or a pastel yeah. painting, right? I don't want to say I have a favorite, but this is up there. This is up there? Okay. So uh, if this poster gets stolen tonight, we're coming for him. <laughs> <laughs> I think my favorite so far is a Mexican artist. Uh, Veronica. Yes, with the archangels. Yeah, it's beautiful. She has some great pieces. I mean, it's really beautiful, interesting work. I can't wait to have her in the show uh, in October. My, I, I'm, I'm painting my ex-boyfriend's apartment and he was complaining that he can't afford art anymore. So I, I'm going to invite him to This is another another street and another corner and as you can see there is uh, some traffic here, you know. Normally we have a, a store in here, convenience store, so there is a lot of traffic here. Yeah, and that, that, there's also a little bit of the art industry. Well, yes. I mean, I'm kind of hoping that the, this uh, reset from COVID might help a little bit in that. Um, but, you know, I mean, collectors need to support emerging artists because if you can't sell your work, you can't buy supplies and you don't have the motivation to move forward, Yeah. Um, which is kind of what we're doing here is we're really looking for emerging artists who um, aren't getting the exposure they deserve and trying to help them find their way um, in this very chaotic Class with the no, situation. Thank you. 
So what can you tell us about this artist? Uh, this is Jenna. She's also from the um, School of the Art Institute of Chicago MFA graduate program. So she just graduated very recently. Um, and actually, one of the interesting things about this piece is this is actually just documentation of a piece in process. So we'll be selling a limited edition of prints of, the, of this piece as this, but also be posting the original final piece on our team to sell that for her. Um, and she, I believe she's somewhere around Santa Barbara, California. Um, which is great because she'll be able to actually go to the show in Ventura to see her work hanging. Um, we're doing the show in Ventura because there are more restrictions in Los Angeles. Right now, uh, Ventura is just a smaller community between Malibu and Santa Barbara. Can so. I wrap this in this so we won't make Oh, yes, yeah, absolutely. Thank you. So uh, that it allows us to um, have the opening in a, in a more sustainable way and not try to force it into the context of the uh, downtown LA art scene, which is pretty vacant right now. <laughs> they finally decided. Everybody <laughs> <laughs> I pregnant, I pregnant. That's what's happening here. This corner is fantastic and it's really, really, really busy. So that's one of the different reasons why this place was, sure was chosen. Not sticking up right now because that means somebody will just pull it right off. So her biography is going to be also. Yes, uh, yeah, you can check on artsy.net tomorrow. Um, excuse me. Uh, you can check on artsy.net tomorrow. <laughs> the show will be live and you can see the bios and the artist statements of all the artists. Purchase the originals of the artwork. Um, will be available there. And you can go to Ventura, California. Um, the gallery's name used to be H Gallery and I think they just changed the brand of the gallery, but it's through Dab Art. So if you go to dabart, dot me d a b a r t dot m e uh, you can uh, see in the current exhibitions and get the information there's also going to be a map there tomorrow of uh, where all these are positioned here and where the pieces are positioned in the los angeles show as well so uh, lots of opportunity two different countries three